Welcome to this week's edition of Wolves Weekly. I'm Mark Kulachiko, the Director of Media Relations at Western Oregon University. I'm joined today by head football coach Arne Ferguson. Arne, how are we doing today? Uh, real good, especially after a, a really nice win against a very good team, Humboldt State. Yeah, and let's talk a little bit about that game against Humboldt State. Really tight, 31, 33, excuse me, 31 victory for you guys. Really uh, avenged the loss that you guys had down there in Arcata. Uh, earlier this season, what do you? What was the key really to the the difference between your game down there versus the game this last weekend? Um, we have some very good veteran players, um, Tyra Tyra Williams, Ryan Bergman, a couple two, Craig Akins, but we also have tremendous amount of, of true freshmen and retro freshmen playing, and that's going to take some time. And really, the development of our team. Um, we played Azusa extremely tough and lost by. A field goal just barely being touched, and they're really good. And then we felt the players continue to get better uh, at our home. We haven't lost a home game this year, and uh, to see our, our players, all the players, really lead by example, but also our younger players develop it was very nice to see, and that was the difference. And then as we look at the highlights, Ryan had a really nice game in route to being named GNAC Offensive Player of the Week. Um, he had a really good all-around performance by your defense. That brought a, another GNAC Defensive Player of the Week in Trebriel Larry. And then Tyrell Williams there with the 72-yard touchdown. It really put you guys, pulled you guys away from the Lumberjacks. Yeah, what you saw right there, I mean, Tyrell had 94 yards, 97 yards, and a touchdown. That one play you saw right there was the first time he wasn't double teamed. Um, so they paid the price for that. And for him to have that kind of yardage being double teamed consistently um, is a great respect for his ability as a receiver. And then Penaranda really with the, the nail in the coffin, he had the, the touchdown there at the end really to pull out the victory for you guys, just an all around uh, win as you said. Well, as you know, I mean, our O-line is, is developing um, and that's gonna take some time and they're getting better each game, but you know, they're, they're 25 to 35 pounds too light when you're a true freshman playing at the college level Division two. But uh, James Depew <coughs> had a huge block against a backer, and those guys opened up a hole and uh, really helped seal uh, a very good win by our offense and defense and special teams. Well, at this time, let's bring in one of those seniors, Tyrell Williams, to the show. Uh, he is a, a, a two-sport athlete here at Western Oregon. Tyrell, how are we doing today? Doing great. Thanks for having me. No problem. Hey, talk a little bit about that Humboldt State game. Um, as we said earlier, it was a 33-31 victory. You guys did avenge the loss from down there earlier in the season. What was the difference from a player's perspective in those two games? Uh, I mean, I think we just came a lot more ready to play at home. I mean, senior night, so a lot of us, uh, like Ryan, Craig, like you were saying earlier, that we just really wanted to make sure we get this win. A lot of us don't like Humboldt. And, uh, as a, as a team and on a personal level. So, I mean, it was, it was nice to get that win against them on senior night. And talk a little bit about, you, you talked about it as being senior day. Um, a senior yourself, what did that mean to you? Uh, couldn't get any better. I mean, it was awesome to get that win, and especially against Humboldt like that, and for all of us seniors to have pretty good individual games, it, it meant a lot. And then talk a little bit about, as Coach stated earlier, the 72-yard the touchdown. Um, what did you see on that play? Uh, Normally I had the safety over top of me, and so at the very beginning of the play, he started moving towards the middle of the field, and we had press coverage, and so me and Ryan know that when we get that, we're going to convert it to a fade, and, and once we saw it, we, we knew we had a touchdown from the get-go, so it felt good. And as, as you say, it always feels good to, to score a touchdown, especially one of those long ones. As you look forward to the, to the game this week against South Dakota Mines, uh, it's going to be potentially your last game as a collegiate football player. Um, what's going through your mind? Uh, I mean, it'll be bittersweet, you know, get the win, hopefully go down there and take care of it. I mean, it's been a long five years, been a fun five years, so I'm just excited to finish off this last one and go down there and take care of it. You're only a couple, uh, couple hundred yards away from becoming the all-time uh, leading receiver in school history. Is that something that goes through your mind, or is that something that you're not even thinking about, you're just focused on getting the win? Uh, I wasn't even aware of that, actually, so I mean, hopefully be able to go and get a 200-yard game, I guess, and, and get that record. It'll be nice. Well, Tyrell, we uh, thank you for joining us today. We wish you the best of luck this year. And uh, as, you, as I said, you are a two-sport athlete, so good luck during the track season. Thank you. And, Coach, as we come back here looking forward a little bit towards South Dakota Mines, um, what are you guys going to take from Humboldt into this weekend? Um, just continuing to get better, um, both sides of the football 
you know, Humboldt had a very explosive offense, and I felt our, our D-line, um, all four of them with our subs come in and, and did a great best job they've done all year against a, one of the, probably the most athletic offensive linemen that we've faced. Um, so that was really nice. And gets two running backs that are leading the league or close to it, you know, and to be able to contain that, to give that ball back to our offense, to win the turnover batter, battle and also uh, do well on special teams was huge for our seniors um, against a very important night for them to be, um, you know, have win all their home games and be in that hunt um, where we're at right now. So, Well, as fans, as, as we said, this weekend, 1 o'clock Mountain Time, so be sure to tune in on wouwolves.com for that game as the Wolves take on South Dakota Mines. We wish them good luck. Good luck to you, Coach. And we'll see you guys next week. And as always, go Wolves.